What is the IRA and what do they want? IRA, otherwise known as the Irish Republican Army, is a nationalist terrorist organization which has been in action since 1921. It originated when citizens in Ireland felt oppressed by the English rule and decided what they wanted to change. In order to gain a better understanding about the beliefs this group holds, we must first understand the divisions amongst the British Isles and the confusing territories within them. The countries that form the British Isles include England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Firstly, the United Kingdom is not another word for England. Instead, it is a country of countries, which includes England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom is a theocracy and part of the monarchy. People who live in these countries are also part of the European Union and can be regarded as British citizens. Great Britain is another division, which consists of England, Wales, and Scotland, but it, it excludes the smaller islands that may be part of some of these countries. Great Britain is, is considered a geographical division rather than a political one, and is to recognize the biggest islands amongst the British Isles. Next is Ireland, which is not a country but rather a location. Similar to Great Britain, the term is used as a geographical label, and the countries within Ireland are the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. People who are from the Republic of Ireland are most often called Irish, and people who are specifically from Northern Ireland are labeled as Northern Irish. They believe that Northern Ireland should be separated from the United Kingdom and stop being governed by the monarchy in the UK. The IRA is driven by nationalist and religious motivations, as they are also known as an extremist Catholic group. Their religious beliefs clash with their, those of the United Kingdom, while most people in the UK are Protestant and live by monarchy, Ireland is mainly influenced by Catholic beliefs. The IRA also despises Protestant, Irish Unionists, or in other words, people who believe that it is positive to be under the British ruling and control. They refuse to accept either the Irish Free State or Northern Ireland, stating that they are both formations created by Britain. The IRA's goal to be in total control of Ireland is the reason behind all of their attacks. But before we discuss what their attacks were, we must explain how they attack. The Nationalist group usually attacks with either bombings or violent raids. The reason that they use bombs to attack their enemies instead of hijacking or arson is because they believe that it makes them a larger threat using bombs and generates more fear throughout the British Isles. Along with this, it is also more unpredictable than a raid or other violent terrorist attacks. The first main attack that the IRA executed was on the 21st of July 1972. The terrorist army detonated 19 bombs in and around Belfast City Center, killing 9 people and injuring 103. The group said that a plentiful amount of warnings had been given to the intent and the had been given and the intention was not to kill civilians. However, warnings were inadequate and imprecise. The original purpose of the bombing was to give the British government a warning that they were still active. This attack was later labeled Bloody Friday to represent all the blood that, ha that had been shed during the day of the horrid bombings. The next attack the IRA accomplished was the Birmingham pub, pub bombings that occurred on the 21st of November 1974. They bombed some pubs that were commonly attended by off-duty British soldiers. The act was representing that their campaign extended to Britain. The British Isles was surprised with the level of ferocity and Force that the War of North Island brought. This led to the ceasefire and truce that the IRA created with the British. They called a suspension of operations from midnight on Thursday, 22 December 1974 until midnight, 2nd of January 1975. This happened due to the ongoing secret discussions between the Revolutionary Army leaders and the British. Since the IRA established in 1921, the British government has been trying to counter their terrorist attacks to force them to surrender, such as bullet fire policies. Even though these policies and the government's extreme efforts to hold in the Irish Republican Army from attacking, this organization stayed in the government's radar. Yet the Army of Britain continued to make an effort to counter their terrorism. The first act that government of the country chose to do was gain the help of international law enforcement agencies who could make laws that ban certain actions that the IRA continued to do. Even though this was incredibly helpful to Britain's cause, it was still not enough to control the dedication men fighting for Northern Ireland. After that, the country tried seven times to obtain a peace treaty between the two parts of Ireland, but failed in this as well. Through all of this struggle, the government eventually gained control over their terrorism organization by using strategic 
peace talks, persuasion, and policies on ceasefire and bombing, which gave the group no choice but to surrender their attack. The IRA has not been in action since 1994, when they admitted ceasefire, saying that their struggle was the complete cessation of military operations. Since then, this group has been departed due to counter-effects that both the government of England and Ireland worked hard to establish. The IRA has influenced many people throughout their existence and gained multiple sympathizers from all around the world. There have been many in instances where neo-Nazis and other supremacist groups have supported the IRA and there has been multiple lone wolf attacks. Overall, the IRA has not been able to achieve their goal and Northern Ireland continues to remain a part of the United Kingdom. Although they have made many attempts to gain sympathizers, the IRA continues to pursue their goal of making Northern Ireland an independent.